Hi everyone. Today I'm going to explain about JMS activities. Uh, in JMS palettes, we have JMS activities like I mean, JMS connections, JMS queue sender, JMS queue receiver. I'll show it in the designer. Uh, uh, JMS palette is this. In that JMS palette, initially out of the uh, process definition, we have JMS application properties, JMS connection, and Today I am going to explain about the JMS connection and JMS connection how to run and the exclusive property and um, 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 the total section is about the queue say uh, how to send the queue how to receive the queue in that there are two types of properties one is exclusive queue and non exclusive queue I am going to explain about this today uh, queue in queue we have uh, let me create uh, as I tell um, process process definition and name it as JMS JMS underscore Q okay and apply or uh, inside the process definition we used to find that uh, JMS Q receiver JMS Q requester JMS Q sender and uh, all these things J get JMS Q message today I'm going to tell about the uh, JMS Q sender and receiver and uh, in that we have two properties exclusive queue and non exclusive queue uh, before that uh, uh, JMS queue sender I, I used to create a uh, process definition JMS queue sender and make this another one JMS queue receiver So this is a sender and this receiver. In sender, uh, we have uh, JMS queue sender activity. Okay, and JMS queue activity. Uh, we need to create a JMS connection before that. JMS connection. In the JMS connection we need to create a factory first when you start the project first you need to create a factory uh, creating factory is like I mean uh, uh, before testing it it will fail because EMS server is not yet started so it will fail then we need to start EMS server EMS server see it will fail due to the EMS server is not yet run so we need to run the EMS server now EMS server is active and uh, tested now successfully I have initially I have created the topic connection factories then uh, I'll show you how to what is the syntax for uh, topic connection how to create the topic connection and syntax uh, for creating a topic connection factory we need to write create factory oh uh, what is that uh, let me take from here Q create factory factory name Q URL URL is of this so we are creating factories in this right so we need to localhost it's already there so if it is not there it will create the factory now I have tested this so successfully we can create that now go to sender select the JMS connection and what is the destination queue for that I'll create Srinivas dot Q is a queue Srinivas one dot Q is a queue it's better copy it and go to receiver palette JMS queue receiver is a starter activity the sender will send a message using the JMS queue sender the receiver will receive that message using the JMS queue receiver and uh, configure the JMS connection and uh, destination is Srinivas dot Srinivas one dot
okay and I'll explain about uh, acknowledgement modes in other sessions so I'll keep it as an auto now now I have created a JMS sender and before sending any message okay let me start this it will get an error because uh, because uh, we are not given any inputs hello world hello world okay now there is there is an input now we need to okay invalid destination exceptions okay so this exception is because we didn't create the queue so how to create the queue queue is create sorry create queue queue name Srinivas one dot Q has been created now. Run again. Now it successfully run. Send a message. The receiver will receive that message. Okay. See. This is called Q. The sender will send a message. Uh, and the receiver will receive that message this is one point to point in queue we have exclusive queue and non exclusive queue default is an exclusive queue so uh, when it is an exclusive queue the sender will having only one the receiving ha ha uh, have more than one so we'll do one thing we'll copy this three so we have a receiver receiver one and receiver two there are three receivers are there we, we are going to send one message now uh, we will select all the process definitions and the sender will send one message and one receiver will get that message and the next again I am uh, triggering the message other, other receiver will got the message again I did the three receiver got equal messages see if I s uh, send how many times it will uh, get one message at a time to the one receiver so this is called non-exclusive queue in non-exclusive queue we have prefetch property when uh, uh, I'll show you show queue so see here here is a prefetch property 5 if the receivers is not there and we send let me show you how to do that clearly so the sender is sending there is no receivers now so I'll send it will go round robin fusion so I'll preface preface is 5 so more than 5 how it will go see if uh, I have sent some amount of uh, messages we'll, sh we'll check here how many pending messages are there 9 pending messages if the receiver are active then see 1 2 1 2 ok 3 right see see only 5 messages got in one receiver remaining 4 messages got in other receiver this is called prefetch if the prefetch is 10 the one receiver will get 10 messages at a time the remaining messages will go to another receiver this is called load balancing in uh, queue and we have uh, another we have another okay we have another okay away in the session in another session I'm going to tell about the exclusive property because it will give only uh, 10 minutes of video so I'll explain in the other session thank you so much uh, uh, do watch my next session there I'll going to tell about the exclusive property